Hey everyone, uh, my name is Amanda. Today we're going to be doing a body weight hit workout um, that you can do from home. Um, first off, before we get started, I would like to thank all of our TAC members for staying healthy, staying active, staying positive during this time, um, and to all of our legacy members who are still paying their membership dues even though we're not able to use the facility right now. Um, you can find this class and all of the other awesome train at home classes under our train at home tab at dreamathletic.com. Um, if you feel inclined to do so, there is a donate button under each class. 100% um, of the proceeds do go to all of the trainers making these videos, coming up with the exercises and encourage you, encouraging you to work out from home. Um, like I said, 100% optional. If you wanna support TAC, um, click that donate button. Send whatever you can. If not, I hope that you enjoy all of these awesome at-home workouts. Um, so again, my name's Amanda. Today we are going to be doing a body weight workout. It's going to be a HIIT workout, high intensity interval training. Um, we have four different blocks today that we'll be working through. Your workout will be about 40 minutes. All you need is a mat. Um, if you don't have a mat, you can use a towel at home or just a space on the floor. If it's nice out, you can take this workout outside. Um, so like I said, we're going to be doing high intensity interval training. Um, you have four blocks today. The first and the third block are going to be your long blocks of work with very little recovery. After those blocks of work, you will get an extended recovery between one, two, three, and four. Um, so if it sounds confusing now, you'll get it as we go along. Our second and fourth blocks are going to be Tabata. So they're shorter, they're quicker, but they'll keep your heart rate elevated. Hopefully it's elevated by then. Um, and we're going to get started with the warm-up and I'll explain a little bit more of our first block in that warm-up. So find a spot on your floor. Um, we're going to start with body weight squats, feet hips distance apart, sit that weight back through your heels as you push your hips back to sit back and stand it up, power up through the heels. Keep your chest nice and open, your spine is long. Okay, so as you're going through this, if this is your first movement today. Take it a little bit slower. Maybe you had a run already, or maybe you finished a warm up or another workout before this and you're ready to go, just take it quicker. Okay, we're gonna be going through this warm up twice. So you have the option to start slow the first round and take it quicker the second round. From here, come to the back of your mat, go into that forward lunge, come back to standing. Alternate legs as you step forward, power through the heel to come back to standing. Core is tight. Focus on that breath. Again, maybe starting a little slower, maybe taking it faster if you're ready to go. Nice, guys. From here, we'll be warming up our hamstrings, okay? So plant that left, left leg, right toes come behind you. Kick it slowly up, reach with your left arm. Okay, stay on that um, right side for now. Slowly warming up the back of our legs, our glutes. Try to keep your leg as straight as you can. Slight bend in the knee and the foot is flexed. Okay, a couple more on this side. And then switch sides. Plant your right foot, kick back with your left. Reach for your toes with that right hand. Nice work, guys. From here, we are going to take it to world's greatest stretch. So what this is, start at the back of your mat. You're gonna walk down into a plank, pause here, take your right foot outside of your right hand, just like in a runner's lunge. Open up, twist towards that right knee, right hand comes up to the sky, feel a nice twist in your spine, your shoulders, and then bring the hand back down to the mat. Left knee comes down to the mat, sit back for a hamstring stretch through the right leg. After that stretch, come back to your runner's lunge, step back to your plank and do the same thing on the left side. Step it forward, left arm opens for a nice twist, right knee comes back down, straighten that left leg, hamstring, hamstring stretch through the left side, come back to your runner's lunge, twist open, hand back to the mat, and then walk it back to standing. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time, each side a little bit quicker. Okay, walk to your plank, Right foot steps, runner's lunge, twist open, hand back to the mat, left knee down, straighten that right leg for a hamstring stretch, come back to your high plank. Left foot steps forward, runner's lunge, twist open, left hand back down to the mat, right knee down to the mat, 
Left leg stretches straight. Come back to your high plank, step it back, walk it in. Starting from the top, take it back to your body weight squat. We're gonna go through that one more time, but quicker. Take it quick. All right, as we go through this, you guys know what you're doing. I'm going to explain the first block. For the first block, the third block, it'll be the same format. You have 45 seconds of a base move. This exercise will never change. It's always going to stay the same. Take it to your forward lunge. So our 45 second move is what we start with. With each round, we're going to be adding on one exercise, 10 reps. You have about 20 seconds to complete that exercise. Take it to those hamstring stretches. Um, after you complete the exercise, you'll get 10 seconds of rest. After your recovery, we start from the bottom with that 45 seconds of your base move. Other side, switch legs. With each round, we'll be adding on an exercise. So the first round, you have 45 seconds of a move, and then we add on 10 reps of an exercise, and I'll give you about 20 seconds to get that done. Second round, go into your world's greatest stretch. Second round, we have that 45 seconds, plus we add on 10 reps of the same move, and then we add on 10 reps of another move. So if it's confusing now, you'll get it as we go through it, and then it'll make a little more sense, but you'll have plenty of time to um, get all of your reps in with each add-on. You're not only adding on your rep count, but you're also adding on seconds to get that exercise complete. Okay, do one more world's greatest on your own, and then we'll get started. So like I said, this first block is going to be about eight and a half minutes long. Um, we will essentially repeat this base exercise five times, and then um, with each repetition of those five rounds, we'll add on an additional exercise. All right, after you do your world's greatest on your second side, grab water, take a quick recovery. So. Our first set, um, exercise today is going to be a catcher's burpee. What that looks like is you come down, jump back into your burpee, jump forward. You're only coming up about halfway. You're holding like a very deep sumo squat in a catcher's position as if you're playing baseball. Okay, so from the side, that looks like a jump back, jump forward, catcher's burpee. Jump back, jump forward. And you're on this for 40 seconds. I may have said 45 seconds before. Your base exercise is only 40 seconds, okay? Our first add-on, an additional 20 seconds of work is going to be high knees. You have 10 reps, okay? So for your high knees, your 10 reps is one on each leg. So it would look like one, two, three, four, okay? So make sure you're not going super fast through that by only doing one rep on each side. Um, all right, let's get started. First move, catcher's burpees. We're gonna go straight into our add-on for 20 seconds. You have 10 high knees, and then we get that recovery before we repeat that and add on another exercise. I'll explain them as we go, all right? So, catcher's burpee, 40 seconds on. Find a spot on your floor. We get started, jump back to that plank in five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, begin. I have my timer on my computer. Jump back to your burpee. Come forward, stay low, jump back, come up and stay low, okay? So your quads are working, your hamstrings and glutes are on in that sumo squat. Come up and jump it back, okay? We're here pushing this for 40 seconds, you're halfway. Nice guys, after this, we go straight into those high knees for 20 seconds. Getting that heart rate up, high intensity interval training. Keep it strong, guys. We have six seconds. Last three, two, and one. Come up straight into those high knees. Counting on your own, you're here for 20 seconds. After 10, you rest. Nice work, guys. Finish strong, you still have about 10 seconds. If you're still working, finish 10 each leg. Grab water if you need, okay? We have 10 seconds starting now to recover. Then we go straight back into that catcher's burpees for 40 seconds. Add on our 10 high knees. This time we'll be adding on shoulder taps. We go in three, two, 
two, and one. Start with the catcher's burpee. 40 seconds. You guys got this. So starting from the top with our base exercise, catcher's burpee, we're gonna be adding on our high knees, keeping it the same, and then we'll be adding on those shoulder taps, holding a high plank, tapping your shoulders, 10 reps. All of our add-ons are 10 reps today. Nice guys, last 10 seconds. You guys got this. For three, two, and one, straight into your high knees. Nice guys, get those knees up to hips level. Nice and quick, core is tight. After your 10 high knees, down to the ground, find your high plank, you have 10 shoulder taps. Again, one rep is each side. So 10 each side. You have an additional 20 seconds to get this done. So as quick as you finish, you get to have extended recovery. Finish strong guys, 10 high knees, 10 shoulder taps, and then you recover. We have about 15 seconds until we start from the top. Starting with those catcher's burpees, 40 seconds on. We go in five. In three, two, and one, straight into it. Stay low in that burpee. This is our longest exercise, 40 seconds. Everything else, you're focused on reps, 10 reps. With each additional exercise, you get an additional 20 seconds. So, if it takes you 20 seconds to complete it, then it takes you 20 seconds to complete it. If it takes you 10 seconds, then you get an extra recovery, okay? Keep breaking, guys, you have 10. We have 10 high knees after this, 10 shoulder taps, and three, two, and one, straight into those high knees. 10 high knees, 10 shoulder taps. Watch up here, as you work, you have 10, Reverse lunge, drive it up, reverse it back, and switch. Reverse lunge, drive up, reverse it back, and switch. 10 of those, five each leg. Okay, you should be on your shoulder taps now. 10 each side. Additional 20 seconds here. And then straight into those lunges, okay? Reverse it back, drive it up, reverse, Switch, that's one rep. You have 10, five each leg. You have about 20 seconds here, plus that 10 second recovery. Keep it strong, keep it quick. Heart rate should be up. I'm breathing heavy. Nice guys. Five each side, this is my last one. Last one. After that you rest, we go in five. Catcher's burpee, last add-on. We have a plank walk. First, let's start that burpee in three, two, and one. Let's jump it back, come up to your catcher's position. If you're super exhausted, remember you can always take that step back. Okay, hands to the ground, step back to your plank, step forward, come up to your catcher's. Hands to the ground, step back, step forward, Come up to your catchers. Okay, you're here for 12 seconds. Make it count. After this, you have high knees. In five, three, two, and one. High knees, 10 reps. 10 reps, high knees. 10 shoulder taps. 10 reverse lunge with a switch. And then we have that lateral plank walk, which I'll show you. That is our last add-on. Remember, you get an additional 20 seconds to work through these as we add on, but you should still be moving quickly. Nice work, guys, stay strong, good effort. After your 10 plank taps, go into that reverse lunge with the jump switch. You can always take out the jump. You can also take out the knee drive and just go into a reverse lunge. Okay, so many different ways to modify this from home. Do what works for you. Keep going there after you finish. You have a lateral plank walk. Sorry, at the end of your mat, you're walking. That's one rep to the side. That's second rep. 
Okay, you have 10 total. Once you hit the end of your mat, go back the other way, even it out. After this, 10 seconds of recovery, and we go through that one more time. Nice work, guys. Finish strong. We have 10 seconds to recover. Last round, all of that, one more time through, and then you get the extended recovery. Catcher's burpee in three, two, one, 40 seconds. 40 seconds here, then you have 10 high knees, 10 shoulder taps, 10 reverse lunges, option to add the jump and switch, and then 10 of those lateral plank walks. Okay guys, one more time through it all, and then you get that extended recovery. You're over halfway. If you feel good, increase your pace on this jump back. For 10. Last three, two, and one. High knees straight into it, 10 reps. Shoulder taps, 10 reps at your own pace. Maybe you're ahead of me, maybe you're behind me. You have plenty of time. We still have about a minute until we're done. After your 10 shoulder taps, go into your 10 reverse lunges. Option to add that jump switch, or maybe just keep it at reverse lunge. You have five each side, okay? If you want that jump, you drive, sit back, and switch. Drive, sit back, and switch. Your last move are those Lateral plank walks. Oh, I'm losing count. I have no idea how many I've done. <laughs> All right, 10 lateral plank walks and you recover. Really nice effort, guys. Keep it strong, finish strong. I like to go to each direction so that I can keep it even and I know where my counting is. Core should be strong in these walks. All right, finish strong guys. We still have time if you're still working. Grab water when you finish. I'm gonna give you guys 10 more seconds if you're still working at home. Finish those plank walks, reverse lunges. And again, if you take this at home or if you wanna take it again, modify in whatever way you need. Okay, when you're done, grab water. Whew. All right, so our next block. First block done. Woo! First block of work is done. We're gonna go straight into our second block, which is half of the time working Tabata. So it's just traditional Tabata. If you're new to Tabata, just take it one exercise at a time. Traditional Tabata is when you're working for 20 seconds and you get 10 seconds of recovery. So you're working at that two to one ratio um, it's not a lot of recovery time. Block one, we didn't have a lot of recovery time, but that is the goal. It's a short workout today and you will rest at the end. Okay, so really push yourself to get through these exercises. Take full advantage of that short recovery that you're given. So we have two exercises today for Tabata, alternating back and forth. So eight rounds, that means that each exercise you will see four times. Okay, so our first exercise is a lateral bound. So start at the long, no, the short edge of your mat. You're going to bound to the left, bound to the right, okay? It's similar to a skater, but you're focusing a little bit more on distance from side to side versus really touching the ground and going for speed. Okay, so go, the reason why mat's good is because you can measure your jump, okay? Lateral bound, back and forth, 20 seconds. After that, you have a plank up to a push-up. It's only 20 seconds. You're only gonna get a few reps. That's okay. You're gonna start in your high plank. Go down to your low plank, press it back up to your high plank. Add in your push-up. Go down to your low plank, press it back up. Add in your push-up, okay? Option to bring the knees down for that push-up. Lots of different ways to modify, okay? Lateral bound, first exercise. We go in five. Get ready, side of your mat. Remember your goal is power and distance. In three, two, and one, 20 seconds, side to side. 
You can do this off the mat if your mat is a little slippery, but use something to measure your distance. Working our side bodies here, challenging ourselves in the lateral direction, which we don't always do, so we have to be intentional about it. And rest, 10 seconds to recover. Up next, you have that plank up to push up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Start with your plank up, high plank to low plank. Press it back up to high, add in your push up. Option to bring those knees down to the ground in your push up, but make sure your chest is still going low. Last six seconds. Three, two, and one. Recover. First round done. Second round, lateral bounds in three, two, and one, side to side. Nice effort, guys. Keep that pace quick. It's only 20 seconds of work. Last five. Can you speed it up for three, two, and one? Recover, plank up, second round. Remember that option to bring your knees down if you need. We go in three, two, and one. Start in your high plank, bring it down to low. Add in your push up. Be conscious of your hips, guys. The wider your feet are, the more likely to keep your hips from rocking side to side. Okay? So, the main goal here is to work that core. You have three, two, and one. Recover. Halfway, two more of each. It goes quick, okay? Lateral bound in three, two, and one. Going for speed, power, and distance. The plank up allows you to slow it down, to take more of an active recovery, and to focus more on core and upper body strength. You have three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay, let the heart rate come down during this recovery and during your plank up. We go in three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Keep up the good work. After this, we have one more of each. Oops, I forgot my push up. I'll do an extra. Okay. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, lateral bounce. Last round. Whew. We go in three, two, and one. Who said that you need heavy weights to get the heart rate high or to build strength? Sometimes all you need is your body and a little motivation to manipulate your speed power or types of exercises to challenge your strength. Last three. Two, one, recover. Plank ups. Let's go, team. 20 seconds in three, two, and one. Push it out. High plank to low. And feet wide, keep the hips from rocking. Add in your push up. High plank to low. Back to your high plank. Add in your push up. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Grab water, second block done. First Tabata done so. Okay, we are halfway through. So, we're going to go back to that same format from the first block. So, grab some water. All right, you guys have an extended recovery here while I explain what we're doing. So, hopefully you've caught on to that format from before. I know it's a little confusing without a lot of recovery, but we're gonna do it again. So our third block, we're changing everything. Our first base exercise for 40 seconds. You have four tricep push-ups, alternating with four pivot squats. So what that is going to look like for your tricep push-up, tricep push-ups are a lot more challenging than a normal push-up because your tricep muscle muscles are smaller than your chest muscles. So if you want to bring your knees down to the mat for this, bring them down. You have four of these tricep push-ups, so your arms should be glued to your side as you move down and press it back up. If your knees are down, it should look the same, core is still tight. 
body's still at an incline. For those push-ups, after that, walk it up. Actually, you're gonna start an inchworm. I should have said that. So, start at the top of your mat, walk it out to your tricep push-up, knees drop if you want, for tricep push-ups, then you're going to walk it back. Okay, working your shoulders, a pivot squat. What that looks like is a jump squat with a pivot. So, four is two each direction. From the front, squat, pivot, squat, pivot. You can always step it out if you wanna take that jump out, okay? After that, our first add-on, 10 tuck jumps, okay? We go through this five times, so you will see this move a lot. Challenge yourself to do these tuck jumps. If tuck jumps or jumping in general is something that does not work for you today, keep it at high knees. The same move from that first round. You can also do jumping jacks if you are sick of high knees, okay? But 10 tuck jumps, both feet off the ground, knees up to your hips or higher, core is tight. Those are our first two moves, our first round. After that, you get that 10 seconds to recover before we start over and add on another exercise. Okay, so find the top of your mat. Inchworm workout, well, inchworm walkout to four tricep push-ups, four pivot squats, alternating back and forth for 40 seconds. Okay, we go in five. 40 seconds on in three, two, and one. 40 seconds, walk it out, tricep push-up, four reps, walk it back into your pivot squat. Option to drop the knees, I'm going to, for those tricep push-ups. Core is still tight, spine is still long. Walk it back in, squat deep, jump up with a pivot, jump up with a pivot. Two each side, your floor total, then you're walking it back out. Drop the knees if you want. 15 seconds to go, you guys got this. Walk it back in, deep squat, pivot. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Straight into your tuck jumps, 10 reps. Remember, you can take it to jumping jacks or keep it at those high knees. You have eight seconds if you're still working. You can take it slower than that. And then you get that 10 second recovery, which starts now. In 10 seconds, you start with that tricep push up. We go in five, second round, 40 seconds on. In three, two, and one, walk it out. Four reps, tricep push up. Four of those pivot squats. If you got two rounds of each last time, can you go for three? Increase that pace. Really nice effort, guys. Keep it strong. This is a round that does not give you a lot of recovery. So you need to motivate yourself to keep going, to keep that pace consistent, or to make it even better. You have six. Last three, two, one. Straight into your tuck jump start now. Your second move is a lateral lunge. You have five each direction. So you're alternating to for 10 total, or you could do five on one side, five on the other. After your 10 tuck jumps, go straight into it. Nice work, guys. The next 20 seconds has started. If you're not in those lunges, get there. After your 10 tuck jumps, you go straight into it. Same format as last two blocks ago, okay? Lateral lunges, after your 10 lunges, you get a recovery. I should finish my lunges. Recovery starts now, 10 seconds. We go into your tricep push-up for 40. I'm going to explain your third add-on once you guys start. In three, two, and one, walk it out. Tricep push-up, four reps. Drop the knees if you need. Increase that pace to get more rounds. Walk it back up. Squat with a pivot, squat with a pivot. Squat with a pivot. Walk it back out to your triceps. After this, you're 20 seconds in, halfway done. Go straight into your 10 tuck jumps, straight into your 10 lateral lunges. Your next move is a beast kick through. Okay, you're down in a bear plank and you're kicking it through. Okay, in three, two, one, tuck jumps, you have 10 reps. I'm gonna keep explaining this move, it's a little more complicated. But your knees are hovering just above the ground, your core is tight. You're going to take your right foot, kick it through the opposite side, 
and back to your bear plank. Okay, get the opposite side. Okay, so those 10 tuck jumps, 10 lateral lunges, and 10 of those kick throughs, five each side. You should be on your lunges now. If you're not, increase that pace so you can get there. After 10, go to those beast kick throughs. This is called um, sweeper, a break dancer. It has many different names. So if you're familiar with one of those other names, same exercise. Okay, you should be there now. Okay, kick it through. Option to touch the toe. Maybe you wanna keep that hand on the ground if you need a little more support today. It's up to you. You have five each side. The lower you get your glute to the ground without touching, the more challenging it will be. Recovery starts now. 10 seconds. Fourth add-on. Start with that tricep push-up to pivot squat. In three, two, one, 40 seconds on. Nice work, guys. Walk it back up, pivot. If you don't get a lot of reps here, that's okay. That's the point. You're working between two different exercises. You're not expected to get a ton of reps, but you're expected to execute each repetition with good form, good control, and a tight core. You have 10 tuck jumps coming up, 10 reps. In five, four, three, two, and one, tuck jumps, 10. Straight into your lateral lunge. 10 of those. After that, you have those 10 kick throughs, break dancers, sweepers, whatever you want to call them. Our last add on is a plank jack. Okay, plank jack, you're in a plank, and you jack it out with your feet. Core is tight, hips are in line with your shoulders. Really nice work, guys. Finish those kick throughs, you should be almost done, and go straight into your plank jack. After your plank jack, we repeat it all one more time. That is it. And then we're done with block three, and we're done with those annoying add-ons. So, finish strong, give you one more strong round. Best pace yet, best form yet, and then you're done, okay? You should be just starting your plank jacks. If you finish, this is your extended recovery. You have 10 total jacks. After 10, recover. Okay, one more round. We go in about 10 seconds. You have your four tricep push-ups, your four pivot squats for 40 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. Last round. You guys got this. Four push-ups, four squats, 40 seconds. Then you have 10 tuck jumps, 10 lateral lunges, 10 kick throughs, and you're finishing with 10 plank jacks. And then you're done. That is it. Give this your best effort. One rep at a time, focusing on four. Tuck jumps, tuck jumps coming up in 10. Option to keep it at jumping jacks or high knees. In three, two, and one. Tuck jumps straight into it. Lateral lunge right after that. Remember, you get that additional 20 seconds with each add-on. So the quicker you go through with good form and control, the more recovery you will have at the end. After your 10 lateral lunges, go into your beast kick-throughs. You might be ahead of me and started them. You might be just starting your lunges. You have plenty of time. Remember, if your beast kick, you're on your bare plank first. Kick it through, option for your toe tap. Just keep that glute low to the ground without touching. Your core should be working. Your lower body and upper body should be working. After five each side for 10 total, you finish with plank jacks. I don't know how many I've done. I think enough. 
I'm gonna go into plank jacks. Last move here, make it count. After you finish your plank jacks, you recover. Nice work, team. Good effort. Grab some water. Block three. Dunzo. Take a rest. We have one more block to go and a quick finisher. So, as promised, our fourth block is Tabata. We'll switch up the exercises. If you come to my group fitness class, you might know my favorite exercise is not the same as many people's favorite exercise, and that was a burpee. So we have to finish our Tabata with a burpee for good measure. Um, again, we're going to alternate. So we're alternating a full burpee. Okay, that means that your hands come to the ground, jump back, chest to ground, press it back up, jump it up, jump back, chest to ground, jump it back up. Option, take the jump out, add in a push up instead of bringing your chest to the ground. It does not matter, just do something that is challenging for you. Okay, we have that burpee, we're alternating with a body saw, that is your active recovery. For 20 seconds, you'll be down holding a forearm plank, I'm going to show you from the side so that you can see what my body does. Your elbows should be straight under your shoulders, arms like the number 11. Press your palms into the ground, bring the knees off the ground into your forearm plank. For your body saw, you're going to shift your toes and your shoulders forward, pause, and then come back. Just like a saw, forward, and then come back. Okay, that's your active recovery. It's low impact, it's slow. Let your heart rate come down from those burpees, okay? Tabata, four rounds of each. Quick core finisher, and you guys are out of here. Less than 10 minutes of work. Let's get started in five. Burpees first. Oops. Okay, now in five, four, three, two, and one. Burpees, 20 seconds. Again, take the jump out, add in a push-up, do whatever you need. I personally like chest to ground. It's the most challenging for me, and it gets my heart rate up the most. If you want to do a different version, do a different version. You have three, two, and one. 10 seconds to recover. Body saw coming up. It's a little bit of an extended recovery. We go in three, two, one. Find your forearm plank. Rocking back and forth, shifting your weight forward and backward. As always, you have the option to bring your knees down, but you can't really shift like this. So if you need a modification, take that saw out, bring the knees down, or just hold your forearm plank. You have three, two, and one. Shake it out, first round done. Three more rounds of each, burpee first. And three, two, and one, jump it out. 20 seconds goes by so quickly, especially at the end of our workout. Stay motivated, stay strong, increase that pace. If you can, you have five seconds. Last three, two, and one. Find that plank. We go in five, three, two, and one. Hold the plank still or add in that body saw. A little bit of movement still, but low impact. It's a pretty slow. It's an active recovery. You have three, two, and one. Nice work. Whew, halfway. Burpees, third round. We go in three, two, and one. Push it out. Halfway, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating. My heart rate's up. That's what a little rest in recovery will do. Last three, two, one, recover. Body saw. This body, body saw should give you that opportunity to work your burpee a little harder. We go in three, two, one, hold that up. Because you're recovering here, your heart rate should go down. You should be breathing a little slower by the end. 
and that means you can push your burpee a little bit more. Nice work team, you have three, two, and one. All right, last round, burpees in three, two, one, last round here, last round, best round. This is the round that counts the most. Make sure your pace is as quick as it was that first round. Make sure your form is as good as it was that first round. You have three, two, and one. Forearm plank, and you're done with block four. We go in three, two, and one. Press it up. Hold it here or shift forward and back for your body saw. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down, shake it out. Nice work, guys. So we finished block one, two, three, and four. We're done, but we have to have a quick finish here. So we only have a few minutes left. In fact, we've gone a little bit over, but if you ever come to my class, you know that we usually end five minutes past when I'm supposed to end because I talk too much. So. Grab a drink of water for your finisher. We only have three minutes of work. It might not take you three minutes. We're going to work down a ladder. So our ladder today is going to be repetitions. You have three exercises. You're starting at 10 reps for all three. After you finish three, you start from the top and take the reps down to eight. Eight reps, all three, take it down to six. So we're working 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 for our rec counts. We're gonna revisit our high knees. Um, if you're sick of these, you could do jumping jacks, but remember this finisher is supposed to be targeting core. So believe it or not, high knees is great for your core, okay? So drive those knees up, you have 10. After that, down to the mat, you have 10 mountain climbers. Drive it up. After that, flip it over. You have 10 bicycles, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Flex the foot as you straighten that leg out. Bring your elbow to your outside of your knee, okay? 10 reps, three minutes on. You should be able to get 10 on each side, just like we were doing um, in that first block with your high knees. So one rep is both legs. After 10, take it down to eight, three minutes of work. And then we are done, okay? So start with your high knees, 10 reps. We go in five, find a spot on the floor. We go in three, two, and one. Three minutes, 10 high knees, 10 mountain climbers, 10 bicycles. Take it down, eight, six, four, two, by the end of the three minutes. You might not need the whole three minutes. You might finish quicker, that is okay. That is actually encouraged. The goal is to beat the clock. After your mountain climbers, go to your bicycles. Your bicycles can be quick or slow. A lot of people prefer quick. For some reason, I can't do quick, so I'm going a little bit slower. After that, back to high knees, take it down to eight reps. Mountain climbers, eight reps. Nice guys, you're about one minute in. Bicycles, eight reps. You might be ahead of me, you might be behind me. Keep working at your own pace. If you're ahead of me, that's great. Keep moving quick. If you're behind me, you have over halfway, you're good. It's going to move quicker as we get to the lower reps. Okay, take it down. Focusing on core, but keeping that heart rate up. Hips in line with the shoulders on those mountain climbers, core is tight. Just because you're going quick, don't lose your form. Almost there. You guys got this good effort. You're over halfway, you have just over a minute to go. I'm on six. Think about where you are and what you can do in 60 seconds. Push yourself to get there.
Nice 45 seconds. You guys got this. If you finish, grab water, stretch it out. If you're still working, go all the way to the end. You have just over 30 seconds. I'm still with you. We got this team. Make sure you're counting. Down to two. After you finish two of everything, you rest. Woo! All right, if you're still working, you have 10 seconds, keep it going. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Three minutes of a core finisher. 10, eight, six, four, two. Four blocks of work, about 45 minutes of work, and you guys are done. Really good job, guys. Um, if, especially if you're at home, please take the next five minutes to stretch it out, to so cool it down, do some stretches on your mat, or go on a five minute walk, but do something to get that heart rate down so that you can recover a little bit better. Um, we don't always have time for the recovery or the cool down, but you still need to be doing it. So I'm gonna do it once I sign off, stretch it out, walk it out. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this workout. Um, if you do it again, remember you can modify whatever you need. You can also always pause the video for a little bit more rest, okay? So this was body weight hit. Um, hopefully it was good. Hope you guys did awesome. Um, hopefully I will see you again soon. My name is Amanda. Again, if you want to donate to the TAC trainers at this time, um, press that donation button below this video. Completely optional. Um, and thanks again to all of our TAC members for keeping their membership, staying active, staying healthy, staying positive. Um, hopefully we'll see you soon at the studio.